Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Crown. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really nice triangular fancy gift box. So just, yeah, don't know what else to call it. It's triangular and it looks a bit fancy. So <laughs> I finished it with my bows that I like to make. These are the same as the ones from the Big Bow gift box, which I will, little, you know, doodah up here will come up. Um, so you can revert to that to see how to make it because I've already made the one for today. And if I just bring it up there, so you can just see, I've just added this um, kind of like a firework effect into the middle. I think it looks really cute. So there's the box closer, you can see the little feet, which are really nice. And then you just take the lid off, it's all reinforced, the lid and the base. Um, the base is just a strip, so you can see underneath there. And there's the inside. Loads of room, plenty of room in here for um, jewellery pieces um, and things like that. And some nice little soaps. Um, some sweets obviously and um, all kinds of other bits there's lots that will fit in it so it is dinky in size but I just thought it was really nice in the shape because I haven't made a triangular box for a while and the other ones that I have made again I will link up here for you to go and have a look at okay so for today's I have got this really bright orange and green I'm using the grab the pack here I've gone back to this one here which is the v &A collection um, by Trimcraft and it's beautiful really really nice um, these are all prints from the Victorian Albert Museum so yeah really lovely this one so I've just chosen like I said I've already done my flower for this one and then that's the pattern that I'm using for this one it reminds me of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and the wallpaper that they lick for some reason I think because it's got all those strips of it that's what that one reminds me of so I'll go through those in a minute now I've tried to do it so that the size of this one is um, within the A4 or letter paper size so if you've got A4 which is eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters or if you've got uh, letter paper which is eight and a half by eleven you'll be able to make this project okay so I've made sure we just had to alter the, um, the sizes just slightly but basically to make our main box, so this piece here, you're going to need a piece of 11 by 7 and 7 eighths of an inch. Okay, so first of all, simple scoring, you just want to score at 3 and a half. Okay, a bit straight, so there we go. Score at 3 and a half, 7 and 10 and a half. Then you want to rotate your cardstock so that the half inch tab is at the bottom and you're going to score at three and one eighth of an inch all the way down. Okay. Now we're working with triangles and not squares which is why this score line usually with a base line your base score line will be the same as whatever the width is of your sides but because we're working on triangles it's slightly different so don't worry don't think oh that sounds like it should be more no 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 so three and one eighth of an inch okay then what you want to do is flip the card over so you've got that half inch piece here now on the right okay and that score line we've just done along the top pop it in and with just with your stylus you just want to put a little marker at one and three quarters five and a quarter and where did I put my other one eight and three quarters so basically we've just put if I just bring this up here there you can just see there's my little marker there. That's halfway between here. All right, and again, this one here, you can see the marker. It's halfway between that one and so on. Flip it over, okay, and you'll be able to see that indent because it would have come through. You just want to do a pencil mark from the indent that you've made down to the corner of those squares. So there's that square. You're just doing from that halfway mark down and there down. Then the next one, down and down and then that last one okay so you'll have your three squares I've got my half inch tab on the left hand side and within those three squares you will have these triangles so you'll have this mountain look okay they're going to be cut lines so we're going to cut down that in a moment but before we do that let's go on to the next pieces so to make our lid I have got a piece here which is 11 by four and 11 by four and three eighths okay so this one's not hard but it's a little bit more tricky now whenever you work with um, making a lid 
you want to make something and it's got a really nice snug fit on top you have to make your initial score lines that's slightly little bit bigger and some people get really thrown by that some people will use the smaller markers so in between each of these is a smaller marker again so you, you mainly find these on rulers if I bring this ruler in here right on my very very first inch there's tiny tiny little markers they don't do it on these ones but they just show you there now those ones are when you start going into sixteenths of an inch so there will be 16 of those within one inch. Now that can be quite confusing, but there is another easier way to do it. You can just pull your card out slightly from the side, which is what I do, but I understand that sometimes when I'm teaching that to other people, what I pull it out by and what someone else pulls it out by could be very different. So another way of doing it is to get some cardstock, and this is what my mum does. And I've just got some cardstock here. This is just a from my colossal paper packs so it's 216 GSM and I folded it in half now that piece there you will pop in the corner of your scoreboard and then put your card up to it you can then remove it and there'll be a tiny little gap and that is enough to be able to then make lids and bases and things like that for your boxes so if you want to have a piece of card keep it as the same piece of card all the time so just pop it in your little you know somewhere in your on your desk so that you always remember that you can grab that piece put a little marker on it you can decorate it with a bit of washi tape or something but you might find that helps a lot as well so okay so I've rambled on there but I just wanted to kind of clear that up a little bit so what you're going to do is along the 11 inch side with this piece of card is first of all you're going to pop the card in then push your card stock back in okay so and then I can remove it and you want to score at three and five eighths of an inch okay then push it back in again and you're going to score at seven and one eighth of an inch and then you're going to score at ten and three quarters okay now that will be enough to be able to because we've made this one slightly bigger um, and the others will all kind of fold into you know fall into place so that's what you need to do there then rotate it so that this little quarter inch tab is at the bottom and you're going to score at five eighths of an inch and one and a quarter okay then what you want to do is that same little marker where we've notched now your measurements will be slightly ever so slightly different because we've made this one bigger okay so you can flip it over so you'd have your quarter inch piece on the left and pop it back in and then you can find the halfway mark that way but it won't line up perfectly with the notches because we move the card so I'm just going to pop my scoreboard to one side grab my ruler and basically this is just very you can you know just kind of roughly do it so pop your pen your ruler down sorry don't put your ruler up to the quarter inch piece you can see I'm just starting from that score line not from the very edge and then I can see here that this one is actually three and a half and a little bit more because obviously we made it bigger so that half of three and a half is one and three quarters but then what you want to do is put your pencil mark just a little bit further away from that just a smidge a couple of millimeters and that's it and that will be the middle of that square then go to the next square the next score line and that one is yeah that one is three and a half because we didn't change that one so you can mark at one and three quarters and then the last one I think will be slightly different yeah so again that one's slightly over so again it's it's one and three quarters but just then move your pencil mark a little bit more so you're not quite at one and seven eighths of an inch you're in between and that's the sixteenth of an inch okay and again you can see on my ruler here there's the one eighth of an inch that one there would be one sixteenth of an inch then one two that would be three sixteenths of an inch and like I said there will be sixteen of these all of these markers within that one inch okay if people would like me to do a tutorial maybe breaking down all those kind of things and showing how I actually can you know decide on how I'm going to make a size of a box and things like that just pop a little thing in the comments and again if I get quite a few 
then um, you know I will do something so I've already got a few other requested tutorials that are coming up so yeah if you think it will help then please do say okay so that is and then so again then from each of those little pencil markers you want to do the same triangle that you've done so you'll have your three squares I've got my quarter inch tab there and those two lines and you just want to do a pencil mark joining up so you'll have the same effect as this piece here okay so that's our lid and our main piece then we want to do our little fancy feet I'm going to keep that green piece so when I bring it into tutorials you'll be familiar with it if you've seen this one and then this piece here is is straight um, is the same as the lid sorry so this is a piece of 11 yeah it's a bit that's doing 11 by 2 okay and what you want to do here again is with that piece of card pop it in and then pop your card stock in I think I've done that first score line that way actually yeah I did right so card in then card stock then move that so my first score line is going to be I've got bits all on my scoreboard okay so you're going to score at three and five eighths of an inch then push the card back in and then you're going to score at seven and one eighth of an inch and ten and three quarters okay then rotate the card so that little kind of quarter inch tab again is at the bottom and you want to score at half an inch and one inch okay so that's that piece done um, I'll go through the other little markers that you need to do on that and then for these three pieces to decorate you want three pieces that are three and one eighth of an inch by three and a quarter slightly not squared because I've made the kind of side of the lid a, um, one eighth of an inch bigger on this one I just felt that needed to come down a bit more so that's why it's now not an even kind of square okay so that's everything let's now start constructing it and putting it all together and I've got my little obviously piece there for the top but you can decorate it however you want so first of all we will do the base so you just want to go along and just burnish all of your score lines okay so that's everything done there so now we need to do a bit of cutting so what you want to do is you're going to cut along all of these triangles you're going to cut every single one out so you want to be super neat because you're obviously going to seal these sides it's just the same as the base on your you know your normal boxes it's just this time we're working with a triangular shape so and you can rub out any pencil marks so just go along and remove all of that okay and then this last one cut up to that halfway you know that kind of score line there and then just cut that whole piece out so you're left with that and then with this piece here this is our tab so I'm just going to take a little wedge off of each of the sides there so that is what you want for your main box okay well, that's one side and then again for this one here just go along and burnish all of your score lines so this is the lid it's not a larger piece okay and then exactly the same way again you're going to go along and cut all of those triangles and again with this piece here you want to cut all the way down and then cut along that one there so you're just removing it move that out of the way like so and then this bottom piece you can take out like so so you're just leaving that little one there and again just very very slightly take a little bit off of both the edges then go back along so you're working along the straight side now and just cut up these two but just to the first score line so just to that halfway you don't want to cut up here because obviously you'll cut it off and then with each of those just again just take a little bit more you know you're basically just removing kind of that score line because we're going to be folding this and it's going to be going into a triangular shape you're going to have really tight corners Ooh, if I show you just there by removing a little bit of that bulk it will help you get a nicer um, finish inside and again that one there okay so that's now how your lid should look all right and then we just need to do the feet 
move this out of the way. So again, just burnish all of those score lines. Okay, so now what we want to do is a few more little pencil marks. So have your cardstock so that that little half inch tab is on the left hand side and you'll have these two score lines here facing the top. Okay, With your ruler, along the bottom, starting from, don't start from the very edge, so start from this score line here with your ruler. You want to put a little marker at quarter of an inch, okay? So you're coming in quarter of an inch from that score line. Then bring your ruler and line it up so that you have a half an inch going over each side of that next score line. So again, then you can mark at the very start of your ruler and that'll give you that quarter inch space there. And then mark at half an inch and that'll give you quarter of an inch there. So if I just bring it up so you can see closer. So basically there's my score line and you want a quarter of an inch marker on each side. So if I go across to the next one I'm just lining up my ruler so that it is over, half of it's over to the left and half of it's over to the right within that half inch marker. Okay, and then I can just mark, I mean it's you can line your ruler right up like so if you want, just make sure that your points all hit you know evenly on the score lines but I just find doing it this way so I'm just marking there at the end of my ruler and then at half inch and then this one here just go backwards there and do the quarter of an inch okay then so along the bottom there you can see that I've got these quarter of an inch got one there to the inside of that score line not on the tab because that's going to be hidden so I've got a quarter of an inch quarter of an inch quarter of an inch Again, either side, it's all either side of each of those score lines. And then at the very end, there's just one there. Then you want to then go up to the first score line. So now we're working on this score line here. You'll still have that one. You want to do the same thing. So again, start from that score line there. But this time you're going to mark at half inch. So half inch. And then I'm going to pop my ruler now. So I've got the half inch marker on the score line so then when I start from the start of my ruler it's already half an inch and then I'm going to mark at one inch and then go along again overlapping that score line half um, start of the ruler and then one inch and then the very end here half an inch so again if I bring that up you can see there so what we've got now is we've got those two little quarter inch and then I'll, I'll you know away from that same score line we've got half an inch okay let me draw in what we're going to do next and then it will make sense so we're going to join these markers up to give us our feet now you can actually do this any way you want you might have a fancy die you might want to make them bigger um, but I just this is obviously fine for this size box that I'm doing so basically just from that score line just joining up each of those marks and again this can all be rubbed out once you've cut away from it all and hopefully I've made sense of that there we go so you can see now what I've done so there's that score line and I've just come from the half inch down to the quarter inch so you want to come from the half inch always down to the quarter inch. You can go the other way, but it's <laughs> just easier for me to explain this way. And just join them all up, okay? Next, we're gonna cut up them. So I'm just gonna start now. Again, really neat, because this is all gonna be on show. And like I said, any rubber, that, any pencil that's left, you can just rub out. And then you just wanna go in there and just remove. You can use your cutting knife if you would find that easier when you go along in the inside part but you can start to see now our feet take shape and again and then that last one okay when you get to this last bit here all you want to do is you'll have your tab and you'll have the other piece there this piece and then this top square there'll be three parts one two three the top one is what you want to remove um, like so okay so that's what you will have and then you just want to take a little wedge off the corner and then go down each of these just cutting to the first score line again just like you did with the lid okay so again you just cut there and just again just remove 
any of that bulk. Now also what you might want to do at this point is fold it over and if this piece here that we've just taken the corners out of that we fold over overlaps this, see mine doesn't, it's still within there, then you will have to trim it. If I do that one, see that one's just slightly coming over, you can see it from this side, then what you'll want to do is just take a little bit more off of that. Because all it means is that I cut up a bit too high when I remove that piece there. So again, just fold it over, there you go now, you can see it's all concealed within this inside. And again, that last one, yeah, that one's fine. Okay, and then all of that is going to be attached around to that one there. And what you'll want to do actually is just with this piece is just take a little kind of funny wedge off of the edge there. Okay, so let's start sticking it all together. So with this piece here, what you want to do first of all, no, we'll do that one last because I might try a different way of constructing it. So let's start, go back to our main base here. So I'm just going to use my wet glue. You can use double-sided tape here if you want, and just along. Okay, I'll just cover that on. Now you won't be able to lie this down flat when we go to stick them together, so you do have to kind of just hold it in place. So just line it up, make sure you get a nice even join at the top. And once you're happy that's kind of in place, and you can just follow it down like so. And then if you pop it on the side with your bone folder, like so. Okay. So now these pieces will all fold in just like the base of any box. Now if they slightly ever so slightly, they will fit in there perfectly but I've got like a little bit there maybe popping out. Just go along and just play around with them because you may have one that will fit in nicer on top like that one. I think that I want that one to be my base. That seems to have a bit more coverage. So with this one here it's a little tiny tiny bit bigger. I think I've still got, I can still see the pencil mark. So what I'm going to do is just take, I think I went a bit too wide on that one. But you can still, you know, just go into them and take a little, there you go, that's better. And take a little slither off. I'm still going to take a little bit off that top there, actually. Because this is going to be right inside, you're not going to see that out there. There we go. And again, so I'm just going to pop some glue on this one first. So get your first one inside. And then that one I wanted, sorry I couldn't remember which one I'd said and then pop some more glue on that one and then flip it over and just with your ruler you can just push everything down inside and you should have a really nice base and it's nice and reinforced so super strong. Okay now we'll go on to the lid so what you want to do first of all is I'm just going to go and tidy up so I've still got pencil marks so I think I'm going to be a little bit wider like I was before so I'm just going to just cut into that a little bit more. Okay, and with this piece, what we want to do is stick the end where you've got the little tab, leave that one there. But these two, no, wrong way, other way around. The one, so you've got your tab here, you're going to stick that one down, and you're going to stick the middle one down. The one that's got nothing on the end, you're going to leave till the end, sorry. Okay, so just pop some glue just on the insides of these two. So this is our kind of reinforced pieces. I'm just going to use my bone folder there. So remember the two next to the tab, okay. Like so. And then pop the glue on this one. Okay, like so. I think I haven't taken a little wedge off of that one. Do that quickly. And then Pop some glue on the back side of this tab, bring it around, stick that down first, and then just kind of just wedge that in like so. And again with your bone folder, once it's in there, it will go back to its shape again. Like so. So now we've got a really nice concealed reinforced lid and then again you want to do the same thing so bring down all of your triangles until you're happy with which one you want to be on the top 
at this point you can obviously check it also on top and it is it's really nice and snug it's lovely um, okay so I'm just going to get those stuck down the same way that you did the base and then again flip it over I'm just going in there with my bone folder and just spread out all that glue kind of reshape it again and then bring in our box find which side it fits on there we go lovely okay so now we need to make our base so again the same way we're going to fold these two down first because this is where our tab is and that one we're going to fold down last so again I'm going to pop some glue just on those two fold them both over like so and then again with this piece pop some glue in there and then turn that tab over and pop all your glue on that one again a little bit of fiddly but stick that foot piece down first like so just make sure it lines up with the bottom there of your foot you can always adjust it if not so don't worry I'm just going to hold that there a little bit longer this time okay and then exactly the same way I'm just going to fold in that piece and kind of pinch all of your corners again and there you will have your feet okay and then for this piece now you can stick you can do that and stick with once I show you you can stick this on this way as well but if I just get that into place again this one's again move it around until it finds its home because it will fit in one way like so and it's, it is it's snug you've got to push it on but it will fit it's going to stick like so so that half inch side you need to have it so it's flush with the base like so so you'll have that shape all right so what you want to do now is pop some glue on the insides you don't actually need a lot you can see that I'm just just enough to kind of tack it in place like so and then again just push it in it doesn't matter if the glue spreads a bit because it's you know as long as you don't spread it past where it needs to go and then just kind of line it all up and just hold it in place until that sticks to the side if you use your fingers there you can feel that it, it won't come over the, the base because you don't want to see when you stand it up that way and look at it straight on you don't want to see any orange peeping out past the green so I'm just going around there just checking and then if you take your lid off and go inside you can add pressure on each side making sure that it all sticks there but if you want to you know have it in its long form still and stick each side around leaving that join that I showed you till the very end by all means you can do is what works I guess best for you but I think that way is still fine to do um, and then again just find which way the lid goes there we go so now we just need to decorate so these pieces now I this is why if you keep the lid on do it the right way up and then stick them down you'll get that nice even border which I've worked out for you so again I'm just going to stick those three pieces down okay so that is the box done so it's up to you now how you want to decorate it remember the the triangle lid will fit in a certain way so don't be you know if you go to do it and you think oh it doesn't fit because we've made one of them slightly bigger but it then you know makes the whole thing fit really nice and flush you don't need to do every change every one but I, I love it I think it's really nice now I'm just going to stick this on top so I've just got my hot glue going there I'm just going to add splodge and decide which way I want to be my front like I said there's not really a front as such I'm just going to stick that I don't want to squash my flower let me just grab my tweezers and just push that down gorgeous gift box absolutely love that so there's the other one to remind you of how that one looked as well but I think they are really really sweet so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from me today and I've helped you with some maybe 
little tips or some little you know issues that you might have had but as always please do comment below I do read them all and um, like I said if a lot of people do say that that's something they struggle with or they'd like to have a bit more of a 101 on, on uh, box making maybe then I'll certainly look into doing one for you so until next time thanks for watching please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more thanks for watching bye